In this series, I am trying out seven different Linux distros, which are all built with gamers in mind. There are many posts on Reddit asking what's the best distro for gaming, so rather than relying on someone else's opinion, I thought I'd develop my own. I am not a Linux expert, and in fact, at the time of recording, I have only around five months as a full-time Linux user. So it's gonna be a really raw look at each distro, and very much from a beginner's perspective. Anyway, that's the intro over, let's get on with it. Okay then, so today we are looking at Regatta OS. I know what you're thinking, that's not a gaming distro, but mm, let me cook. Okay, so we're gonna boot into normal mode. Well, that was quick. Well, I think I'm missing something actually. So normally what I would do is I would literally wipe the hard drive so it's completely fresh. This time I haven't, so it's gonna be interesting because it's gonna still have Playtron on it. It's going to be the same, isn't it? It's just going to wipe the drive for me. Oh, just uh, one less step, isn't it? We've got a mouse movement? Yes, we... Oh, hello. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty quick. So obviously we've logged into a live live thingy. You know what I mean? So we've got... This is the one, isn't it? Install the Regatta OS. Let's do it. So obviously it's KDE. If you know me by now, you know that I am a massive KDE fan. Uh, hello, hello. So yeah, we're going to do the usual British English. Next. Landon next. We're going to keep it US because actually my keyboard is US, which is why I've been having some challenges with it. So if we go to where would it be? At the top or at the bottom? All the way at the bottom. No, nope. where are we? Am I going too fast? What? Where's United States? Why is it not under you? Huh? Oh, okay. I'll shut up. It's because it's there. Next. Okay, so we have got the. Di we don't want to wipe that one. We want to wipe that one. And we're going to go erase so this would delete it all and then build a new one we're not going to do that because it's only temporary so beforehand uh, so that's what it is which is the playtron and we're going to switch it over to regatta nice let's do it manual i'm not going to do manual i'm not experienced enough yet to do the whole manual thing so let's do this uh, the name of the computer is going to be see if it tells me off for putting in simple passwords Log in automatically without asking, use the same. Yeah, we'll do that because again, it's, it's going to be temporary. Yeah, so it hasn't moaned at me that time. So it doesn't care what you put as a password. Right, next. Install. Let's do it. Regatta Installer is about to make changes to your disk in order to install Regatta OS. You will not be able to undo these changes. Okay. So one of the things that really interested me about this one is that although it's not positioned as a gaming distro, when you go onto their website, gaming does appear prominently within their marketing material it's positioned as a an everything operating system around content creation gaming and as you can see you've got davinci resolve icon there you've got critter icon you've got steam slack uh blender don't know don't know don't know visual code studio maybe gimp and don't know so it's very much positioned around kind of a productivity type distro with gaming in it. Now, some of the other ones I was looking at, which are supposed to be great for, for gaming, that don't actually mention it as part of their materials. You know, it's like, a, oh, we've used this operating system and actually it's really good for gaming. They're not the ones I'm targeting with this series. It's about those distros that market them themselves as a gaming distro or a distro that has gaming as part of its core function. Does that make, does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, through the power of editing, whoosh. All right, so that's all done now. So we need to restart. So I'm gonna click done. Now I never know, should I take the USB out first before clicking done? Or should I click done? Because I never know if it sort of does stuff on the USB. I'm gonna take it out and see, let's find out. Let's science it, shall we? It's going to now moan at me saying, no, can't find the disk, can't find the command to do the shutdown. <laughs> uh, I can't click anything. I knew it. I should, have, I should have done it. Abort, 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 abort. Can I do anything now? Can I drag that? I can't do anything. Look, I'm just going to press reset. Screw it. Okay, so I had to hard, hard reset the PC. So I think that, I think I learned something today. What do you reckon? Now, delete, 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 delete. Excellent. So yeah, that's good. That's all working. Excellent. F10. Okay. So yeah, don't, don't take the USB out until after you've hit uh, reboot. Unless that was just a fluke. Ooh. Oh, wait. 
I did see the Windows Boot Manager there actually. So you can't, I can't seem to disable drives in BIOS. All I can do is remove them from the boot menu. Okay, so this is looking pretty. So what we got then, so we go over to here. So we've got controller thing there, that's very cool. Um, uh, what's this, Regatta OS Game Access, what's that then? All right, okay. So we've got Amazon Games, that's that's pretty cool. Everything's there already, look. All in one place, that is that is neat. Steam's not there though, but I guess they're treating that separate. So we'll go to settings, show FPS of games. So, so what, this is just a, their own launcher then, I guess. It's like a Regatta OS launcher. Enable AMD Fidelity FX or FSR. We can do that, we can do that. Uh, choose the style. Top left, or always have it top right. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, okay. Is that, That's just using Mango Hut, isn't it? If it's like that, then I'm gonna put it top left, I think. That's pretty cool. So the, the mouse movement is a bit weird because I'm actually doing it through OBS. So there is a little bit of lag. So don't don't think it's not smooth. On the actual screen itself, it's ridiculously smooth. And I don't know if it's gonna be coming across to you guys, but the reason I'm moving so slowly is because of the lag and it's a bit off-putting. Right, uh, close the game access app automatically and then find games in an external folder. So if you add a drive that's got games on, you can add that there. That's pretty cool. Okay, right. So what about Steam then? So if I close that off, I'm guessing that's putting that down into a... Oh no, that's gone. But if I go into, let's say, the store. So I'm guessing this is like Discover. Yep, yeah, so this is Discover. So we type in here Steam. Oh, what's it going to do? Steam, there we go. So click on there. Right, so in this one it just says open or uninstall because it's obviously obviously the install, but it doesn't it's not telling me whether it's the native or flat pack. So I'm just gonna open it anyway. Is it doing something? Are we there yet? I'm too impatient, that's what it is. Oh, hang on. I did say open though, didn't I? There we go. I was just being too impatient. There we go. Right, be right back. Get signed in. So there we go. We are all logged in. Nice. Right, so what was what's the game that I've been doing? Starfire, wasn't it? I think. So let's do that. Um, Star, Starfire, Eternal Cycle. Let's go. Get that one installed. So it's doing it on a local drive. So that'd be interesting to see what, what, what it's doing there. So it's got a unique terminal. Wait, what's Yast? Wait, oh, is. So this must be built on OpenSUSE then. It is, look. It's OpenSUSE. I thought, for some reason, I thought this was uh, Fedora. But it's not, it's OpenSUSE. Okay. That's interesting. So we're going to pin that to the task manager. Oh, can we change it so it's not like burning my retinas? Settings, uh, configure language, configure console. There we go. Why, why, why do they insist on burning my retinas? I just, I just want it to be d like dark mode. I spent too much time on it already, right? Okay. Oh, password, no PC. I mean, it looks pretty. So what about just very quickly? We've got graphics here. So this is going to have things like Critter and Gimpin, isn't it? Gwen, oh no, maybe not then. Multimedia, Office. So they've chosen only Office over Libra. A uh, bunch of system stuff in there, utility stuff in there. Internet, obviously it's Firefox is their default browser. But I'm surprised there's nothing already installed for Critter, especially as it was showing it on the like marketing. But then again, that's gonna be considered bloat, isn't it? If, it keep, if it's gonna install stuff in there that you may not want. That's that's just bloat, right? So yeah, that kind of makes sense because that's these are all built in, I believe. So that that does make sense actually. Now it would be cool if had the option at the beginning to say which which um, browser do you want to install rather than just default into Firefox. Uh, but then you're going to have a list a mile long, aren't you? All right, so let's see the game. Now the problem is it's not going to be any sound, which is really annoying. Oh, did that start? Did I press play and it just didn't start? I didn't see. I must have not pressed start. Surely. There we go. So it's working. Oh, controller. I haven't even plugged the controller in yet. Can't even find the controller. Where is it gone? Got it. So I've literally plugged the controller in and it just works straight away. Now, the problem with the audio is not anything to do with the distro. It's the fact that it's going for a cheap ass capture card and I'm struggling to get it to take the audio through. So sorry about that. Okay, so it didn't do the overlay. It's going to be really weird to play in it without any audio. Ooh, nice. I'll try and work out a way if I can get it to go through my my sound card, but at the moment that's that's all I've got. So yeah, there you go, that works. Can we get out of here? 
One of the issues is it's not showing the overlay. So why is it not doing that? Did I do something wrong? Is, is it because I didn't start? Oh, that I know why. <laughs> it's because I'm in Steam and I'm not even in the Regatta game thing, am I? Regatta OS game, what is it called? Gain access. I really like this. I think that is probably a really good central location for your games. This is just the launcher of launchers. That's what this is. How would you add or change Proton versions in here? See more with Connect, Login, Game Access, Amazon Games. I quite like the launcher, I'm not going to lie. And um, what else have we got that's gaming related? You've got Max Q. Choose the best configuration for your dedicated GPU. Configure the display and perform simple tests. So you can do screen settings and change that. Oh, so that's the KDE setting. Test the dedicated GPU. Run a simple test with OpenGL or Vulkan. Test with Vulkan. Okay. That's locked to 60 FPS. Test with OpenGL. So it seems to be locked, locked to 60 FPS right now. All right, cool. What else you got? Desktop effects on, lock widgets. Advanced media framework is disabled. Don't know. What do you reckon? Oh, so that's for supported apps. I'll just turn it on. I don't know what, I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, power saving for CPU. So that's pretty cool for, specifically for laptops, I would imagine that's pretty cool. And then we've got performance settings. Okay, so again, that's just taking it from KDE. It looks very similar to KDE's widgets. And then we've got system. So this is what I'm running. I've got 6600 XT with 16 gig of RAM and a Ryzen 7 3800X. Okay. So it's behind on a kernel version. I think we're on 616 now, aren't we? And isn't 617 out soon or was it already out? I can't remember. Again, let me know in the comments. And you've got more about that. So that's going to open up info, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So I recognize that. So it's not bad. It's a lot better than the last one, isn't it? <laughs> At least I don't have to put any emails in. I knew I had an open SUSE one, but I didn't think it was this one. So that kind of surprised me a bit. So there you go. That was Regatta OS. What do you think? Is it something that you would think to change to? I'm, I quite like it, to be honest. I would love to get more in depth with it and understand some of the other productivity side of things like DaVinci Resolve and those sorts of things and getting that installed. And, but uh, again, I keep saying I'm very biased towards Fedora and Fedora is working great for me. So I have very little appetite to change. But if I was to build a new system that was dedicated to gaming, then maybe this would be it. I don't know. Anyway, let me know. What do you think? Would you install this? Could this be your next OS? Pop a comment down below or just leave an emoji just for the sake of engagement. It really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one, which is...